Welcome friends. Hello, hello. I am Susan Blackwell. Hi, I will be your moderator for today's virtual Met and HD Live in Schools National Educators Conference brought to you by the Metropolitan Opera. Typically, as you may know, we do this live and while we miss seeing you in person, we're so excited that so many more folks from near and far can join us in this virtual context. Throw a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Can you hear me okay? Great. Awesome. So to maximize your viewing pleasure, you might want to put your Zoom in speaker view if you haven't already done so. We have so many friends, new and old, joining us today. We have educators, we have supporters of opera and lovers of music, and we want to welcome all of our established members of our HD Live in Schools community. It is always the deepest pleasure to get to spend time with you. And new friends, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. We are so happy to have you here. Let's start by taking a quick look at our schedule for today. So today we're going to focus on two operas, Werther and Romeo et Juliette. And we've got such a great program planned to bring those operas to life. At 12.15 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be in conversation with the brilliant director, Sir Richard Eyre, who directed Werther for the Met Opera. At 1 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be exploring some quick curriculum, aka curriculum, for the opera Werther with the great educator, Tim Brendler. At 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to take a break. We're going to open up some optional breakout lounges, and Met Ed team members will remain present to answer any questions that you have about the program. At 1.45 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll continue exploring themes from Werther with the wonderful Sofia Stefanovic. And at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to welcome Dr. Dipna Callahan and performers from HBO Max's homeschool musical Class of 2020 as we explore the opera Romeo and Juliet and Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. At 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to welcome Dan Rubens, who will share curriculum for Romeo and Juliet, and we will conclude at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So that is our sketch. Please note that we are recording this session, and if you prefer, you are welcome to turn off your camera so that you will not be visible, but you can always feel free, even with your camera off, to communicate your input and questions via the chat feature. Again, my name is Susan Blackwell. I'm going to be moderating today's conference. I'm joining you from Muncie Lenape Land, also known, currently known as Upstate New York. And now I'm so pleased to introduce you to the Met Ed team, Marsha Drummond, Dan Marshall, and Dr. Kamala Schelling. Friends, reveal and unmute yourself. We are going to begin by telling our attendees, would you tell us your name, what you do, how you are feeling really in this moment, and one thing you have been doing. Oh, somebody's phone's ringing. Who's it for? Who's right. Marsha Drummond. Horrible. I'm sorry. Love it. It's Point best off. it was you. Best it was the boss, I guess. So, <laughs> so you're going to share again your name, what you do, how you're feeling really in this moment. Marsha, is it mortified? Is it yeah. embarrassed? And one thing that you've been doing to take care of yourself during this time. And participants, when you listen to these introductions, I want you to think about how you're really doing in this moment. And one thing that you've been doing to take care of yourself during this time. I'm going to go first to kick it off. As you know, my name is Susan, I'm your moderator, and I am feeling what I would describe as a combination of relaxed and excited, which is what I call relaxed. And a thing I've been doing to take care of myself during this time is I have been taking virtual exercise classes about four or five times a week. So let's now hear from Marsha, then Dan, then Kamala. Marsha, hit us. Who Hi. are you? What Hi. do you do? I'm Marsha Drummond. I'm the Director of Education and Engagement at the Met. Um, what have I been doing to one thing, uh, one thing you've been okay, doing, this is what I've been doing. First of all, I just want to apologize for not having my phone on airplane mode. I, it just went on and it won't happen again. Um, okay. This is what I've done. I've downloaded the app insight meditation and they've got a wonderful, like 40 day class. It's like 10 to 12 minutes a day with Jack Cornfield and Tara branch. I listen to it and I'm telling you, it sets, it just like calms me and kind of sets my focus for the day. And um, for years and years and years and years and years, I've been wanting to meditate and I just never have been able to, I just would go crazy in my head. And for whatever reason, I've been able to uh, just kind of center myself and, and do this. So 
That's love what I love it. And That's how are you feeling in this moment? It's right. helpful. That's news you can use, as we say. How are you feeling in this moment, Marsha? Super excited to see everyone. I was going to like complain about our weather, but then I see David Bowman is like, like wind chill of neg negative 35. And then I see Karen D DiMartino's gotten her second vaccine. And I see we have someone from Egypt and, um, you know, I'm just thrilled to be here. Yeah, I feel you. Dan, can you say who you are, what you do, how you're really feeling in this moment, and one thing you've been doing to take care of yourself? You got it. Hi, everyone. My name is Dan Marshall, and I am the Met's Manager of Education and Outreach, I think. And I, um, I'm just feeling right now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm anxiety-sided. Wait, you're relaxed-sided? I'm anxiety-sided. Are you nerve-sided? Nerve Are you nerve-sided? There you go. I'm nerve-sided. I love, yeah. I love, love, love hosting these. I love being in any space, virtual, three-dimensional, whatever with our teachers, but I do always get a little nervous and I want everything to come together because our teachers do so much for the Met and I want to give you all a premium experience today. One thing I've been doing for myself is I have been going running a lot. I've ran almost a thousand miles since the, well, like in 2020, but I didn't start till March. So um, I ran <sighs> around the Southern tip of Manhattan a lot. And uh, it really was like uh, free, what is it? Antidepressants, <laughs> mood Free drugs, just free say drugs. it, say it, say it, free drugs. Free drugs. Um, love it. And now Dr. Kamala Schelling, would you say who you are, what you do, how you're really feeling in this moment, and one thing you've been doing to take care of yourself? Hi, friends. I am Dr. Kamala Schelling. I, um, that's PhD doctor. Don't ask me for medical advice. Um, I am the content manager for the education department at the Met, which is to say I oversee the creation and production of all of the curricular content we, we create. Um, how am I feeling? Honestly, I am tired. Uh, it's been a long, 2021 feels like it's been incredibly long. 2020 was incredibly long. It's cold here, it's dark here, um, but I'm also really excited to see all of you. One yeah. thing I'm going to take care of myself every night after dinner, I make myself a tiny little personal vegan chocolate cake and eat it while watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We're talking- this is tablespoons of flour like that's the kind of quantities we're talking about and I do it every night and it's really fun and I get my necessary chocolate and carb hit we'll talk more about this on the break um amazing self-care amazing self-care maybe throw your recipe in the chat now if you were here last week you know we were exploring land acknowledgments and Kamala before we let you go you are going to share a land acknowledgement with us so last week we shared a land acknowledgement for Zoom, which is the virtual space that brings us all together. So we thought this week, why don't we share a land acknowledgement for the physical space that brings us all together, which is to say the Met Opera itself. So the Metropolitan Opera stands on Muncie Lenape land, which is the west side of Manhattan at about 62nd Street. And we are thrilled to be able to share the Met Opera with you in spirit. And we're really honored to be able to acknowledge the indigenous land that it stands on. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Kamala, Dan, Marsha, and friends. I encourage you every time get to know that Met Opera and education team. They really do represent a bounty of resources. And we're going to have a chance to visit more with them in just a bit. But y'all can go, you can go behind the curtain and do the work you're going to do. As I mentioned today, we're going to be focusing on Verter and Romeo et Juliet. These operas are all about the feels. So we want to get into our feels a little bit. And to do that, let us begin by, yes, if you've ever spent time with me in real life, you know that this will not be surprising. I'm going to ask you to shut your eyes. Go ahead and shut your eyes. And just take a moment and take a breath. And come into this present moment. and consider how you're feeling really in this present moment. Not how you were feeling 10 minutes ago or 10 hours ago, or how you think you'll be feeling 10 minutes from now or 10 hours from now, but how are you feeling really in this moment? And see if you can distill that down into a word or two 
It might be a portmanteau. You might be relaxed-sided. You might be nerve-sided. And now set that to the side, and I want you to consider one thing that you have been doing to take care of yourself during this time. Have you been gardening? Or if you're in a snowy climate, have you been working with plants, taking care of your dog? Meditating, exercising. Being creative, getting around to writing that script you've been meaning to write or that book or reading that book you've been meaning to read. And when you're ready, open your eyes when you've got it. Would you go ahead and open up the chat box in your Zoom and would you say, how you're really feeling in a word or two or three, and then leave a few spaces and one thing that you've been doing to take care of yourself during this time. And I'm gonna give you a moment to do that. And I wanna say, if, if you're having trouble thinking about one thing you've been doing to take care of yourself during this time, you can share that. You can share that, that you're having a hard time coming up with something. And get ready to take some notes because you might, you might just learn some great ideas from your fellow participants. So let's take to the chat. Let's, <laughs> we have Aaliyah saying, feeling good, but uh, feeling cold, but good and doing a lot of reading. <sighs> I've got a direct message from Christy and typically I don't read out direct messages because they might be confidential, but I'm just gonna read it Christy and I hope you'll forgive me because it's very unique, frustrated, dot, 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 but buying snakes. Yes, Christy, there you go. It's novel and it's news you can use. Carrie is feeling still and taking care of herself with sleep. Gail is feeling relieved and walking in the woods. These are beautiful. Amy is sharing that something that she has been doing to take care is uh, a new hobby, resin art. Kevin shares, I'm feeling overwhelmed by the amount of work to manage, but I am taking care of myself by watching that good TV. Yes, this is beautiful. So friends, I encourage you to um, look to the chat, look to all this goodness in the chat. Ellen shares Pilates, TRX, dance cardio online. Ellen, 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 I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by your, your physical activity, working out, eating right. Feeling empowered and centered, yoga, yoga, and more yoga. Yes, Amy, this, these are beautiful. These are just gorgeous. Oh, I think some of these might be coming directly to me because I'm the host potentially. And I'll just, feeling pulled in every direction, but only focusing on what I know I have control over. Thank you, Nathaniel. That is gorgeous. And I encourage you all to check out that chat because, um, it's news you can use, and maybe you can also relate, whether it's Dan sharing that sometimes these things make him nervous because he wants to do a good job, or Kamala sharing that she feels tired, or Marsha sharing that she's cold, but also so heartened to see you all. You might be able to relate.